Hello and welcome to May's Let's Plays. And it's been a while, but I thought we did a series. A series that I loved. That was of the Looney Tunes. Collectors Martian Alert. And I know because I had these games and I still have them buried deep in the back of my wardrobe somewhere. And I thought, let's go and do the second one. This is Martian's Revenge. Looney Tunes Collector Martian's Revenge. So the story is... Take away the mouse. Sorry, I got very distracted there by the mouse. But yes, the story is after the first time and we foiled Marvin's plans. Uh, Daffy has... Uh, I apologize, I don't know what's up with me. But Daffy claimed... That he did it all himself. And as you can see here, Marvin is not not happy at that. And that's pretty much the story, so let's get going. So start a new file. Uh in the traditional naming, let's call it uh Jack. No reason why not to. That foul earthling is going to get get it. I shall travel to Earth and vaporize him, but first I'll go looking for canine, then dash off. To the Astro port and take the saucer. I don't know why that took me so long. So we got A and B. B doesn't do anything. But A shoots our gun. Boo! Which is very much. Oh crap. Like uh, Elmer Fudd. Elmer Fudd had a gun. So, how do I get through the. Uh, oh. Just walk up to it apparently, or it's on a timer. Now, I will say, like I said, I should play this game all the time as a kid. This in the original. And it's one thing that bothers me. Why do the Mar- like, the little alien, the green guys, bother Marvin? They're his creations. They are Martians. Why are they fighting him? But! Hey, if that's the only complaint you have in a game, I don't think you can really claim it's a complaint. So I'm playing this from memory, and... It's not blind, because like I said, I play this all the time as a kid, but it's pretty much blind. I can't remember quite what to do all the time, so there might be some backtracking and confusion. Let's get our health up. As in full health, not an extra health packet. We don't have those in this game. It's Dark Souls. Oh. oh, ow, gosh. It's one lifestyle. Dark Souls, yo. I can't believe, like, coming back to these games, how well they've held up. I know they don't look the best, but they are pretty good. So that's him telling us that we can uh, now use K9 by pressing select, and he can jump. A very flayed animation. Now this is a bit finicky, and I do remember this. Because he kind of jumps for longer than you expect. Like, he's in the air a lot longer. But, that's not gonna stop us. We are the Martians. We are going to take over the Earth. Uh, well, we're gonna destroy... Destroy, um... Daffy. Right. Is this where we discover we need the batteries? So remember the batteries being important. Or did he say it and I missed it? Uh... Random fireball, why not? Okay, welcome aboard. I'm your guide in this adventure. To fly to Earth, we need four batteries, a map, and a radar. You still need to collect the map before we can take off. So I guess I could have done that without coming into the spaceship. But this ain't no speed run, this is a fun run. As our star... Star Trek? I was gonna say starship. I know what's up with me. The Star Trek style teleporter. That'll get us to Earth. So yeah, this is just going to be a sort of a mini-series that I'm doing. Because I wanted to play this game, and I thought, why not record it for you wonderful people out there? Right, so battery one. I do remember, though, this one being not as good as the previous one. But we shall see if that's a correct remembrance, or if it's just time, playing tricks on the old mind. There we go, we found the Martians. Press start to activate it. 
Press B to open the radar screen. So we got start. Start. B. Oh, is that it? I'm pressing start. Oops. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we had to, yeah. That was it. Press start, select it, and then press B. Boy. The old memory fails on you sometimes. So we're collecting the four batteries. We've got the radar. We need a map as well, which is pretty easy to get. There's Marvin's TV. It's even a space alien. A Martian needs a TV. He ain't no monster. He's a Marvin. Marvin the Martian. Who's a very cool character. Although, interestingly, not that much used in the original run. He appeared in quite a few shorts, but then there was a, a re... Like a redoing of Looney Tunes in the 70s, I believe. Which is where Duck Dodgers came from. Well, there was a, one Duck Dodgers. There was like the adventures of Duck Dodgers in the 21st and a half century. 23rd and a half century. And then they did a re... So, not a reimagining, but more of the story with him. But I can't remember when that was from now. It's going to bug me. So that's all the batteries. We just need the map. Can I remember where to get the map from? Nope. There we go. I want to collect some coins as well, and some Marvin... Marvin juice! I don't know if there's a reason to play as Marvin. Because you can do everything as K9, and you can jump. But we will see. I want to play as him, even if... That was... Come on, press up. Even if we don't have to, we will play as him. We're going to play as everyone we get. That was the radar. This one will be the tele... Uh, the map. No. At least we got some health. Where's the map? Oh, don't say I'm going to have to go to an FAQ. Alright. Let's go and speak to the pilot. Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah. So that's just telling us how to use the map. Which now we know how to, or we know how to use the radar, the map is pretty easy. Hmm. Once again, great music in this. Oh, that was it, we gotta put the batteries in that room, it's not the Star Trek teleporting room, it's the battery room. I knew Summit went in there. This is how much memory gets to you after... This came out in 2000, and I played it. Till about 2004. So it's what over 10 years does to your brain. Kind of muddles things up. I'm getting old. Yeah, it's been about 10 years. Wow. Well, it's been longer than 10 years. But since I last played it. There we go. We're going to Earth to get our payback on that dastardly Daffy Duck. For defeating us last time and claiming all the credit. Like I said, I must say, you got to admit this game is gorgeous. This game is absolutely gorgeous. I don't care what your persuasion is in life. you got to admit it. And look at that cutscenes and everything. So we've crashed. The saucer's completely useless. Now I'm going to look for Daffy Dunk. You stay here and fix the saucer. So that gets rid of uh, our guide. We're out of the tutorial zone. I can't remember who we get. So it's a really annoying noise. And I kind of like it. I don't know why. I'll not press it too much, though. Hopefully you are getting the game audio. I'm not too sure. I'm 90% sure you should. Oh, it's Speedy Gonzales. Another crow after my cheese. What an ugly crow. A crow? You must be part of the duck's plans to humiliate me. Maybe we just gotta shoot him with our bubble gun. Not that hard, it's easier as K9, I do believe. But there we go. Hypno raise. There, he's hypnotized. He won't be talking back. To use him, press select and choose the character. Run through a mouse hole or run fast uh, run through a mouse hole or run faster. So let's try him out. Helps when you press the button. 
not that much faster, really. I suppose it is faster. I'm just being... I've been watching a lot of speedruns at the minute, so I'm used to going or seeing super fast. Let's go for K9. An intruder! And he smells like cheese. Yummy! Hey, birdie bird bird. Birdie bird bird. I'll give you a taste of my homemade cheese. What the hell does that mean? Alright, uh, start. I want to pick up the life atom. Let's take it so we can keep... Alright, I guess we're going to have to use Marvin to shoot him. <laughs> like I said, the real Dark Souls starts here. What the hell? There we go. We hit him once, at least. Why is this boss taking me so long? This is pretty simple. There we go. Another earthling sample. I'll keep this earthling prisoner. It's now... It's portraits in the gallery, which is very much like the first game where we could uh, defeat mini-bosses, uh, mini kind of, to get their portraits. And as like the first one, we're going to get as many as we can hope for. So he can't go down there. Obviously, that's Bugs' ability from the first game. And that bit's explored. So up we go. Up and to the right. Okay, down into the... Oh. Right. Where are we meant to go? Hmm. Yes. If I do remember correctly, this was... Another game that I had to get the walkthrough for. Off the very prim primitive internet. Oh, there we go. It was... No. That was to get us to where sp only Speedy can go. Oh, I saw it. My bad. Alright, speedrun threats. There'll be a, a section, yeah, at the bottom here. That only Speedy can go, because he's Speedy Gonzalez! The fastest mass in all of Mexico. We simply must rest a bit before we go roast some duck. Used batteries, a saucer crash, a flight with a fight with a crow, never dull moment. Yeah, you can say that again, Speedy. It's kind of weird, really. I do love Looney Tunes. I love it too much. Like, it makes me. Uh, so that's the sandstorm. I do. More than sure that we we were here in the first game. A village has become a tourist attraction thanks to Daffy. What a great guy. What a dick. Yeah. I wasn't trying to talk to you. I was trying to speed out. Alright. Let's go in here. This is the shop. Yeah, so it is exactly the same layout as it was before. And that's where you can link. But I never had anyone to play with. I know. Diddles old me. Packet of sulfur. Yeah, I'd like to buy it, please. Let's buy a couple. Oh, not enough money. At least we got one. I don't know if we need it. It's better to, to need it and have it. No, to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it, as they say. A collector of boats in bottles. So if you any room for the inn, it's five gold a night. Well, we don't need to go. We're shooting a film in the marsh. Really messy. Let's go to the marsh, then. Who would shoot a film in a marsh? It must stink. Mush stink. I'm taking some stupid damage here, but the game is very generous with its life, as, as you can probably tell with all the orbs we're picking up. Orbs? Yes, orbs. We're picking up. Oh, jeez, come on. Alright, so we're on our last bit. Great, too. It tricked me. Control feel a bit stiff at the minute. I don't know if that's the uh, emulation I'm working on. Because while I do have this game, I have no way of recording it off my Game Boy Advance. I bought the uh, adapter for playing it on a GameCube and then recording off that. But unfortunately, the disc itself to get it all running is like 50 quid. And I can't afford that type of money. God, this marsh is awful. There we go. We made it through, though. We made it through the marsh, and we're now at... 
the site where Daffy is. And he's here to make fun of us. And this is a canine fight. I have thought about speedrunning this game. Try and work out the strats to speedrun. So I can play more of it, basically. It's the only reason. Oops. Give me canine back. Is that him done? There we go. No, no, have mercy, you're right, you should play yourself in the film, I beg you, let me go. It was just a joke. Ha ha ha, what coward these earthlings are ah, really stupid. You silly space moron. Whoa. I actually tried to jump then. The duck has escaped, what a terrible complication. Better call a Martian. Come in, Martian. Do you have me? Have you fixed my source? I've got to get a duck atomized. Really confusing there. Unfortunately, I cannot see the duck anywhere on my radar. He must be hiding underwater. As for the say, so, spaceship, it's no, it's more serious than I thought. I need some specific spare parts. I've detected a piece. So we're just trying to get our, uh, find me that duck. I'll go looking for the piece of teleport in the countryside. So this time we are looking for... Oh, that's right. I forgot canine can do bugs as jumping into holes. I forgot about that. Who's up? We're out of atoms. You gotta stop taking so much damage. But I forgot that canine can go in the hole. The rabbit holes. It's gonna, th that would have changed so much. Alright, let's see. Where are we going? Is this just a, a bonus area where you can pick up a bit of money? And take some hits? Moonwalking dog! Everyone... <laughs> ev everyone loves a moonwalking dog! Because everyone does, everyone does, it's a moonwalking dog! And his name is... Boss... I don't know. There you go, let's pick up this health. Alright, so does this get added to our pot? Yeah. So we pick up any extra when we're at full health and they go in store. He's too big to go through. I mean, speedy. What? Alright. Got confused. And the game did too. Oh, so speedy for some reason jumps back slightly before he goes forward. Don't know what that's about. At least we know. It'll help us. We'll find a way to make it work. I think when we get out of the swamp, we will end the episode for today. These all come out every other day, like most of my series, and the reason for that is just to help uh, me with timings. So yes, I think we'll end this episode here, so hopefully you're enjoying the new series of Looney Tunes, Martian Collector... Looney Tunes Collector, Marvin, Marvin's Revenge, that's what it's called. If you do hit that like button, it helps out a lot. And if you just generally like the sound of my voice, why not come and join the space people by hitting the subscribe. And the last thing left for me to say is that I've been May. You guys have been fabulous. Look after yourselves out there, guys.